Okay, so let's begin. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this English class here on Zoom. It's nice to have you one more time. Welcome. We are going to start this class number seven. Thank you so much for being here. The title for today of this class is going to be Auditing a Meal. That's the thing we're going to have in class number seven. Section number three is the one we're working. Yes. Um, don't forget that you got to do the exercise that you have on the platform. And if you have any inconvenience or any question about the topic or the exercise that you have available over there, you can get in contact through the chat and also uh, in private. Let me know anytime. As uh, so we know, we have class number seven for today, which is called ordering a meal. Okay, how many meals do we have in a day? Mm -hmm. How many three. meals? Exactly, three. right. So we have three of them, right? Like, what are those? What are those meals that we uh, that we have? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Exactly. Sometimes we skip like one of them just to save money, right? Yes. Uh, <laughs> if you want to save some money, just keep one of those. <laughs> and then, then there you go. Right. We made brunch. <laughs> exactly. We <laughs> made brunch. It's just one shot. Okay. <laughs> we save some money sometimes. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. Very good. So we're going to work on this thing on this class number seven. Thank you so much for being here. It's raining in some places, right? Like here in San Salvador, it's raining. We still have, we still have some rain in November, which is impressive for me. That's impressive for me. I never I never uh, had this kind of experience, okay? Okay, Sandra Noemi, thank you so much and welcome. Nice to have you. Sandra Noemi Pimentel. Okay. So let's begin. We're going to have some vocabulary first, which is about food categories. Okay. We have some food categories here. And also we have some vocabulary about food. Do me a favor, please. Juan Jose Garcia. Hello. Good evening. Thank you. Do me a favor, uh, Juan, and read this vocabulary and also these categories that we have here. Okay, good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Um, word power, four categories. Complete the chart, then add one more word to each category. Bread, chicken, corn, fish, grapes, lamb, mangoes, octopus, pasta, peas, potato, Potatoes, <clears throat> sorry, rice, shrimp, strawberries, turkey. And Thank you so much. Fruit, vegetables, grains, meat, and seafood. Very good. We have vegetables, beige, like the color, vegetables. And then here, grapes. Is correct potatoes or como sería? Teacher? Yeah, Sorry. it is correct. Potatoes. Potatoes. Oh, okay, potatoes. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. And turkey. Turkey. It's correct. Turkey. Turkey. Oh, okay, okay. Turkey. Same. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay, Freddy. Thank you so much for letting me know. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Also, Liliana. Thank you so much. No problem. Welcome. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Okay, so we're gonna put this vocabulary, depending on like the categories that we have. Let's begin with you, Maria Vilma Cortez. Welcome, good evening. Tell me, what is the vocabulary that goes with fruit? Sorry, teacher. What is the vocabulary, the vocabulary that goes with fruit? Fruit. Um, grapes. Oh, grapes. Very good. Mm. Man mangoes. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Mangoes. Very good. 
Um, quiero ver. Um, strawberries. Strawberries, very good. And tell me another fruit, please. Tell me another fruit, Maria Vilma. That is not here in the list. Yes. Tell me another fruit that is not here in the list. Um, oh, no, sí. mm -hmm. Tell me another fruit that is, that is not, not here in the list. Um, bananas. Okay, very good, right? Bananas. Okay, thank you so much. What is your favorite fruit, Maria Vilma? Mm, my favorite is the um, um, grape, um, green grape. Oh, green grapes. That's expensive, right? Yeah, green grapes are expensive. Okay, very good. And what is one fruit that you hate? Maria Vilma, what is one fruit that you hate that you don't like it? Maria Vilma? Sorry, teacher. What is one fruit that you don't like? Um, melon. Oh, Mel melon. melon. No. Oh, melon. You don't like it? I'm oh. not. No. Oh, that's all right. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing. Very good. Hello, Marcos. Welcome. Good evening. It's nice to have you, Marcos. Can you participate, Marcos? Jorge, thank you so mm -hmm. much. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, vegetables, please tell me. Vegetables. Ileana, thank you so much. I understand. Marcos, tell me vegetables, the vocabulary that goes with vegetables, please. That is uh, here. Corn. Oh, corn. Very good. Yes. What else? Uh, potatoes. Oh, potatoes. Okay. Potatoes, tomatoes. Okay. Potatoes. Uh, I don't know what the mean lamb. Oh, lamb is an animal or it is a vegetable? Um, no, uh, no. Claudia, do you think this one, lamb here, lamb is an animal, Claudia, or it is a vegetable? Um, that is an animal. Exactly, so that is an animal, okay. Um, vegetables, uh, 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 um, no. Can you hold me? Oh, Bombs? okay. Fair. Somebody helping, please. Thank you. Peace. Oh, peace. Exactly, right. This peace, a peace. This one. We don't eat them here in El Salvador a lot, right? Uh, I mean, it's not very popular, I guess. Maybe no. with rice. I, I, yeah. I, I try them with rice. That's the only way I, I remember those. Yeah, peace. How do you call these ones in Spanish? Any idea? Petit pois. In Spanish? Petit pois. Verjas, I guess. Oh, oh, exactly. Alberjas. Uh -huh. Alberjas. Oh, yes, that's true, right? That's true. That's why these things is, are, are not very popular. But the okay. petit pois looks... Looks quite the same. Looks quite the yeah. same. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, thank you so much. Marcos, tell me what another vegetable that is not here in the list, Marcos, please. Onion. Onion. Okay. What's your favorite vegetable, um, Marcos? Or vegetables. Mm. What is your favorite vegetable? Uh, maybe corn. Corn. Okay. And what is a vegetable that you hate? That you don't like. Uh, I like all vegetables. Oh. 
even even garlic even garlic oh yes oh, <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you so much. if you are not uh, going uh, to kiss somebody right if you are not going to kiss a girl maybe, maybe you can have oh, garlic <laughs> oh very good thank you marcus oh i understand i got it very good grains oh look at this one this is difficult okay so that's why we're gonna have let me see um jacqueline hello jacqueline good evening it's nice to have you evers thank you so much for letting me know good evening jacqueline with grains tell me please what's the vocabulary that goes here oh jacqueline no, okay, probably she's busy. Daniela, are you here? Welcome. Good evening, Daniela. It's nice to Hi, have you. Hi, teacher. Tell me, please, what's the vocabulary that goes here? With grains. What's, what's the vocabulary that we have here? Um, corn? Oh, no, sorry, that's a vegetable. A um. Fear. Like elote loco. Um, rice. Oh, rice. Okay. I don't know, but maybe pasta. Oh yeah, that's right. Pasta or some pasta. Very good. Um, I don't know, teacher. Okay. Corn. Oh, corn is a vegetable. It's like a lote loco. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Corn here is like a lote loco. Yeah. Bread, teacher. Oh, thank you so much. That is correct, right? Yeah. Frances, right? A dollar. Yeah, with... <laughs> with frijoles licuadas, right? Okay, very good. And what is another grain that, that we can have here? Uh-huh, Daniela. Tell me another one that we can add here. <laughs> Daniela, tell me another grain that we can have here that is, that is very popular here in El Salvador, right? <laughs> that goes with pupusa. Yeah, with baleadas. Yeah, we can find it everywhere. With plantains, when we have plantains in the morning, Beans. right? Oh, yes, right. There is also a book about this one, I guess. Beans, very good, right? Well, uh, people from Honduras, they don't like this thing, right? <laughs> yeah, but Salvadorians, we love that. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. What about this one? Mead, Ana, Cristina, Peña de Paz. Good evening. Tell me, what is the vocabulary that goes here? Mire? Yes, carnivores. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Meat. Yes, carnivores, right? Chicken. Oh. Uh, like like these guys from, uh, how do you say? La Esencia, right? <laughs> La Esencia, right? <laughs> yeah, like this was it. Okay. Your Fish. <laughs> okay. Fish. Oh, <laughs> look at that one. Yes. Like Fish. Uh-huh. What else? Lamb. Oh, you know this one, right? We don't have this one in El Salvador, I guess. No? Well, I, I never seen one here in El Salvador. And what is another meat that you know? Another meat. Um, turkey. Turkey. Oh, turkey. Okay. Turkey. Oh, look at this one. So we have fish. Fish is seafood or is... Uh, um, like from an, I mean, I know. The, well, actually, I think it is an animal, right, from the sea. Oh. <laughs> but... Yeah. Um, teacher, uh, fish, probably in seafood. Oh, that is correct. That is correct. Yes, it's pescadito, right? It's expensive. Nowadays, it's expensive. Uh, yeah, it's like seven dollars. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's seven dollars. Okay, what is another kind of, let's say, um, animal that you know that humans, we eat? Okay. We will eat pretty much everything. Yeah, robots, my kusukos. Yeah. Shrimp, teacher. 
Oh, shrink. Very good. Shrink goes here, right? Shrink. I like shrimp. Oh, that's expensive as well. In cocktail. <laughs> oh, cocktails, right? La mariscada, right? Yeah, you have them over there, like Aniceto yeah, Molina. It's yeah, it's really good. Yeah, delicious. Delicious. The, the octopus is oh, sea food. Exactly. We have an octopus. These ones, we have them in a mariscada as well. Uh, October. Octopus. <laughs> Very good. Uh, oh, Jesus. Octopus. Very good. So, uh, these are like the different categories that we can have in the vocabulary. Don't forget that with categories, we can add more vocabulary. For example, from different vocabulary related to cream, vegetables, fruit, seafood. Uh, and you can add, let's say, more vocabulary here, okay? Why we're working about this? Because of the content that we have for uh, in this um, part of this uh, module, okay? Uh, we're gonna have this conversation. Do me a favor, please. Let's take a look at the picture here. Uh, Jose Mauricio, please describe the picture. What do you see there? What are they doing? Where are they? Well, I guess the guy is showing the menu of the restaurant to the girl. And she's on the, uh, in a restaurant, too. That is correct. How do you call this kind of, um, of job? I don't know. Probably is a waiter. Oh, a waitress. Oh, it is a waiter or a waitress? I guess it's a waitress. Oh, okay. Thank you so Correct much. Correct me if it's, if it's not. No, probably you, you, you're right. So I'm, I'm asking you like, is, is this a waiter or a, or a waitress? It is a waitress. Oh, is that is, is that is a female here that is a waitress. Oh, that, okay. It, exactly. Is this is a girl? Yes. I mean, it is a waitress, but is that a gentleman? Oh, it is a waiter. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. And what about this one here? How do you call this person that sits in a restaurant? A customer? Exactly. We have a customer here. And, and this, you told me that that's the menu. Can you please read the menu, please? Yes. Today's special soup of, soup of the day, chicken curry and mango salad, veggie burger with soup or salad and red bean chili and chips thank you so much very good thank you so here in the um on the top we have the title may i tell you order yes so this expression is like when you get into a restaurant there is a a, a gentleman or a girl that comes to you <laughs> sometimes is a senora right yeah. or sometimes it's a senor that comes to you and, and takes you order. And usually this person tells you, oh, may I take you order? So this expression goes for restaurants. We're gonna have this conversation between a server, right? Remember that Mauricio told us that this is a customer, that is correct, yes. right? Here we have a customer and also here we have a waiter and also we have a server. So we have both of them are okay, yes? So you can say, oh, this is a waitress or a waiter. I'm sorry. Oh, this is a server. Okay. Very good. Yes. So let's listen and read. Page 88, exercise six, conversation. May I take your order? Part A, listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, please. I'd like the veggie burger. All right. And would you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup 
We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I'll have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a lemonade, please. Page 88. Exercise 6. Conversation. May I take your order? Part A. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, please. I'd like the veggie burger. All right. And would you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I'll have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a lemonade, please. Page 88, Exercise 6, Conversation. May I take your order? Part A, Listen and Practice. May I take your order? Yes, please. I'd like the veggie burger. All right. And would you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I'll have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a lemonade, please. Thank you so much for listening. Question for you, Janessi. Thank you. Tell us, what is this conversation about? Good evening. Uh, it's about... Uh... A woman taking an uh, order on the restaurant. Okay, okay. the woman is taking the order or she is ordering food? She's ordering. Okay, and what's the food she's ordering? Uh, as onion soup and lemonade. And lemonade. Okay, something else? Just that? Exactly. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to have this conversation. I will open the breakout room so you can join and practice a little of this in your breakout rooms. Take a screenshot, save it, in your, uh, and also please somebody send it on the WhatsApp group. So your classmates can have it as well. Uh, and I will open the breakout rooms so so you can practice with your partners. Yeah. Okay. I think this conversation is, is quite simple. That is just one little thing that we will talk about it later with pronunciation, but I think you will do it good. Ready? Here we go. Give me a minute. Don't forget that in the breakout rooms, you need to practice, right? So um, don't worry about mistakes. Just practice. In the main room, I will have Claudia, Elisa, Freddy, Juan Jose Garcia, and Liliana del Transito. You five stay here in the main room. Claudia, Yesenia, Elisa, Maria, Garcia, Freddy, Alberto Paz, Juan Jose Garcia, and Liliana del Transito Aguilar. Yes, you stay here in the main room. The rest of you, please. Do me a favor and join the breakout rooms so you can practice this conversation. Yes. Join the breakout rooms so you can practice this conversation. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Janessi, please join. Kevin and Ronald, please join. Okay, very good. Okay, for the ones that is... Oh, no, no, Freddy, come, come back. Yeah, come back. No, no, Freddy, don't go there. Okay, for the ones that stay here, yes, let's begin with the practice in here. Uh, take terms and also change roles when you finish. Okay, who wants to who wants to start? 
I'm here. Okay. Um, so you're the server. Okay. Okay. May I take your order? Yes, please. I like the veggie burger. All right. And would you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I'll have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like the lemonade, please. A lemonade, please. Okay. okay. Now change, the server. change roles. Uh, may I take your order? Yes, please. I like the veggie burger. All right. And would you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of today? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I'll have two onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a lemonade, please. Thank you. Okay, somebody else? Flo Blanca. Flo Blanca. Um, no. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Who else is here? Elisa. Okay. Good evening. Thank you. Please. You and Blanca. Go ahead. Okay. May I take your order? Yes, please. I didn't like the veggie book. All right. Um, would you like soup or salad with your burger? What the soup of the day? The chicken soup. We also have cream of potato or soup and onion soup. I have the onion soup. Please. Um, would you like anything to drink? Yes, I did like a lemon, please. My, I take, take your order. Yes, please. I like the vegan burger. Mm. No me acuerdo cómo se pronuncia eso. All right. All right. And what you like soup or salad? No sé. With your burger? What the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We... Um, we also we also have cream, cream see, of potato soup, soup and soup. onion soup. Very good. I will have the onion soup, please. And, and what you like anything to drink? Yes, I like the uh, lemonade, please. Lemonade, very good. Lemonade. 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 May I take your order? May I take your order? Okay, I'd, 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 I'd. exactly, I'd. Aquí al final le va a quedar la, pro la pronunciación, la lengua le va a topar el cielo de la boca al final, I'd. I I I like the baggy burger. Okay. Sometimes when we speak, it's minimal the pronunciation I use. It's minimal. 
casi no la notamos, ¿vale? pero está ahí, mínimo. I'd like the Beggy Burger. I would, would, and would you like, would you like. Okay, so this is the way we do it. Thank you so much. Very good. Uh, we have a few mistakes in pronunciation. Okay, let me see. We're going to have your classmates in the class. Just let me get them here. Okay. When they come, we're going to have the attendance really quick. Okay. Let me see. Oops, give me a minute. Because I don't find it here. Okay. So, um, this is the conversation between a server and a customer. Okay. Let's stop sharing. Let me see how many do I have. Well, I, I think I got I got all of them. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to take the attendance. Okay. So please, when you hear your name, say present, or I'm here. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Am I mute? Um, present teacher. Oh, thank you. <laughs> present. Nice to have you. Blanca Isolina Guzmán Cruz. Here. Thank you, Blanca. Briseida Janeth García de Crespin. Thank you, Briseida, and welcome. Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Good evening, Cindy. Oh, 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 yes, Freddy. Thank you so much for letting me know. Uh, Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Christian David Galicia Ramirez. Let me see if we have Christian. He's usually here. Ah, oh, no, he isn't. That's rare. Okay. Uh, Daniela Mercedes Olivares Resinos. I'm here, teacher. It's nice to have you. Welcome, Evers Ernesto Perdomos Alvarez. Thank you so much. Good evening. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. I hear teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Nice to have you. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Good evening. Present, nice teacher. to have you. Freddy, thank you so much. Good evening. Nice to have you. Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo. Iliana Mariel Alvarado Mengibar. Thank you so much for being here. Good evening. Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Nice to have you. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. I think Jorge is here. Thank you, Jorge. It's nice to have you. Good evening. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. Check if Jose is here. I think Jose is here, right? Jose, okay, Jose. Oh, no, he isn't. No, no, he isn't. He is not here. Okay, what about Jose Mauricio Martinez Arabia? Yes, you're here. Present, yes. Good evening. Welcome, nice to have you. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Present, teacher. Good evening, nice to have you. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Nice to have you. Kevin Eduardo Flores Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Kevin. Welcome. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juarez. Thank you so much for being here. Good evening. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Hello. Thank you so I'm much, here. gentlemen. Good evening. Nice to have you. Marcos Alberto Palacio Herrera. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Nice to have you. Uh, Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Let me check. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Um, Milena de los Angeles Aragón Fleites. I think she's here. But she's just listening. Let me double check that one. Oh no, she isn't. She's not here. Mirna del Carmen Ruano Reyes. Hello Mirna. I think Mirna, she's, no, she isn't here. 
Okay, uh, Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya. Thank you so much for being here, Ronald. Good evening. Sandra Good evening, Marvin. teacher present. Pimentel Alvarez. Thank you so much, Sandra, for being here. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Welcome. Good evening. Present. And Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Thank you so much for being here. And Carlos. Um, I heard the chat. Thank you, Carlos Castro. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Okay, we're going to have really quick uh, some, I will hear some participation from the breakout rooms. Okay, on this conversation, I will play the audio so you can recall a little bit on pronunciation and, and then we can practice. Let's listen. Page 88, exercise six, conversation. May I take your order? Part A, listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, please. I'd like the veggie burger. All right. And would you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I'll have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes. I'd like a lemonade, please. Thank you so much, Kevin. Eduardo, you are the server. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Racinos, you are the customer. Ready? Let's begin. May I take your order? Yes, please. I'd like the veggie burger. All right. And would you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I'll have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a lemonade, please. Thank you so much. Just this one, soup, onion soup, like chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Very good, thank you so much. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno. You are the customer. Um, Claudia, you are the server. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. May I take your order? Yes, please. I'd like to the BG burger. All right. And would you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I'll have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like the lemonade, please. Thank you so much, the two of you. Great job. Jose Mauricio Martinez, you're going to be the server. Your partner is going to be Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. You are the customer, Anna. Okay. May I take your order? Yes, please. I like the veggie burger. All right. And would you like uh, soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato <laughs> soup and onion soup. I'll have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a lemonade, please. Very good. Yes, I love it. Very good. Thank you so much. Maria Vilma, thank you so much. You are the server, Maria Vilma, and Juan Jose Garcia Mendez, you are the customer. Ready? Let's begin. May I take your order? Yes, please. I like the veggie burger. All right. And what do you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of today? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I have the onion soup, please. And would you like 
anything to drink? Yes, I like a lemonade, please. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Potato soup, onion soup, onion chicken soup. soup. Janessi, thank you so much, Janessi. You're going to be the customer, Janessi. Evers, can you participate, Evers? Yes or no? I think no, right? Yes, yes, teacher, I can. Oh, please, you're going to be the server, okay? Okay. May I take okay. your order? Yes, please. I'd like the Peggy burger. All right. And would you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I'll have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a lemonade, please. Thank you so much. Very good, the two of you. Carlos Castro, you're going to be the server, Carlos. Jenny Lisbeth, Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa, you are the customer. Ready? Let's begin. Hello, Carlos. Can you participate? Yes or no? Carlos, Houston, do you hear me? Yes. No. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to switch with somebody. Tiffany, can you help us, Tiffany? Yes. Please, you're the server. Let's begin. May I take your order? Yes, please. I like the bigger burger. Uh, all right. And will you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I'll have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a lemonade, please. Thank you so much, the two of you. Hey, JD. We're going to have the rest of the conversation about what does he order? That is the question. Okay, what does he order? Okay, so let's listen, and then let's see what's the answer. Page 88, exercise 6, part B. Listen to the server talk to the next customer. What does he order? Are you ready to order? Yes, I think so. I'd like the chicken curry, please. Would you like today's special chicken curry and mango salad? Yes, I'll have the curry and salad, please. Okay, anything to drink? Yeah, I'll have a large orange juice, please. And how about some dessert? We have pie, cake, and ice cream. No dessert for me, thanks. Page 88, Exercise 6, Part B. Listen to the server talk to the next customer. What does he order? Are you ready to order? Yes, I think so. I'd like the chicken curry, please. Would you like today's special chicken curry and mango salad? Yes, I'll have the curry and salad, please. Okay, anything to drink? Yeah, I'll have a large orange juice, please. And how about some dessert? We have pie, cake, and ice cream. No dessert for me, thanks. Okay, so... What's the question? What does he order? Anybody? He ordered chicken curry, a mango salad, and a large orange juice. Or orange juice. Thank you so much. And what about a dessert? No. No dessert from here, right? Yeah. No. That's good, right? So <laughs> just keep in shape. Just to just to be in shape. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Page uh, we're going to have the grammar part on this video. Okay, so I want you to take a look on this one. And then we can have some exercises for practice. Here we go.
Nice to have you back in class. Please take notes on wood and will. Try to understand how they are being used. After the explanation, we have some questions for you. Please answer them on our discussion box. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. We presented would and will in a conversation and then on a previous chart. But now let's work on them. Using would to make requests. Would is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite way to make your requests to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can use would directly at the beginning of the question. Would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using would to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. Or, I'd like a soft drink. Did you notice the position of would in the answer? That's right, it goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using would? Subject plus would plus like plus compliment. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using would. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? That was beautiful. Okay, okay. So what do we have is this thing, okay? Requests. That is the thing we're going to work with, would and will. Okay, so these two are models. Yes. And we use them when we want our, like, when we ask for our request. Yes. Most likely, based on the context we are working here, is in a restaurant, right? So this uh, thing is happening in a restaurant, pretty much, right? You can have it sometimes with friends at home as well, yes. When somebody visits uh, your house, you can, uh, you can use this one as well, right? What would you like? What kind of soup would you like? What would you like to drink what i'm sorry would you like anything else okay in the answers here you can use i'd like the veggie pork i'll have a mango salad yes you can answer with these two you can answer with would and also you can answer with will in their request why Um, what else we can say? Well, nothing much, I guess, right? The only thing is like, if you notice the structure goes very close, so that means goes together. So when you have the expression I'd like, so we have it together, you know what I mean? Um, so that, that's, I think that's the easiest way to, um, to get this one, because it's like, you don't need to add like, extra things the only thing you need to add is add the phrases like together with the verb and then a complement that goes related with the things that you want yes 
So basically, this thing would like, what is the meaning? Want. Yes? Right. So also, you can use I'll, okay, when ordering in a restaurant. So that means I will have. Yes? So if you use will, you say, oh, I will have. That is the meaning, right? And would like means I want, okay? Why we use this one? Well, as the video says, it's because we want to be polite when people, with people that we don't know. In a restaurant, yeah, usually, I mean, servers or waiters or waitress are usually polite, right? Yes, <laughs> right? So they uh, treat you in a polite way. You know what I mean? So they ask you, oh, come on in, please. Excuse me, please have a seat. Yes. So when they up, like, um, let's say, reach you, yeah, they say these kind of expressions just to be polite with you. Are you ready to order? What would you like to order? Yes. And then you can use this expression. You can say, I like the baggy porker. I'd like onion soup. You can say this one, or also you can say, I'll, yeah, to order in a restaurant. Just be careful with pronunciation of this he thing here, okay? Because somehow it's, it's confused. When we say like this one is easier than this one, I guess. So we can say, I will, I would. But this one is I'll, I'll, and this one is I'd, I'd, right? D. So, al final, con esta, la, la lengua le topa en el cielo de la boca, right? Entonces, when we speak, it's minimum. El sound is minimum. Pero está ahí, right? I'd like onion soup. I'd like a lemonade. So, the key is that, cuando usted pronuncia esto, la lengua le va a topar al cielo de la boca, right? I'd. Yes, I'd like. I'd have. Yeah. But sometimes we say like this one, I will, I would like. We can say it like that, right? At the end, it's up to you which one are you going to use. We usually use this one, contraction, when we speak a lot. So that's why we have it at the beginning. Let's have some practice on this one. Oh, give me a minute, because I need to delete this one. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. Okay. Page 80. Here we go. Okay, we're going to have complete the sentences. Okay. With would, I'd, or I'll. Okay. So, number one, well, letter A is done already. Would you like to order now? So what is the next one? I'll. Yes, please. I'll, very good. I'll. I'll have the shrink curry. Okay, what is next? It, it yes. was like noodles. Excuse me? Would you like noodles or rice with that? Exactly, would, okay. Would you like noodles or rice with that? Oh, Jesus. Mm, what is letter B? I'll have rice. I'll. Exactly. I'll have rice. Letter A. Whoa. What would you like? Very and good. what would you like? And would... And would, would you, like you like salad too? No, thanks. What is the next one? Wool. Would you like anything thanks. else? Oh, very good. Yes. Would you like anything else? Yes. I would like a cup. Please. I like. I... Exactly. Very good. I'd like a cup of green tea. Teacher. Very 
yes. In in the question, um, can you use uh, ill, idle? Um, like like we are at, at the beginning. Or not? Like uh, this? Like in like. Uh huh. Is the uh, the same? Oh, here. Excuse me. Here, or here. And and yes. the A, okay. Yes. Uh, can you use it? Is the same or not use uh, in beginning? Oh, like if I can say will, would you like? No, uh -huh. that's what you're telling me. Like if we can use will instead of would. Okay. Uh, Adam, oh, Marcos, I'm sorry. Can you like recall? Uh, I, I, I can. Uh, I get so confused. <laughs> oh, that, that's uh, okay. I, the contraction, I uh, not the same goal. Um, what happened? What happened, Marcos? What happened here? And that is a good question because I was about to ask you the same thing. How do you identify, for example, here? What I understand from you is like, if you're telling me, oh, maybe why we don't use wood. Yes, that's what you're telling me. Like, why okay, I don't okay. use wood instead of aisle. Yes. Okay. See, so yes. The, the difference here is like, for example, okay, I use aisle because of the structure. Give me a minute. Give me a minute, please. I'm sorry. Like, for example, in this structure here, if you see, if you use, what would you like? See your contestant, right? I'd like, usually, would, this one, usually va with this one, mire? with like. Okay. And will, I'll, va with have. So that's why in the other exercise, in the examples that we did here, let me show you. In the examples that we have here, that's why I just have it like this. I delete this one. Okay, I'm sorry. That's why <laughs> I have it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. That's why I have it like this one. I. Oh, okay. Because I have, I, I, I well, actually, let's say um, I have this one have i'll have yes that's why i need to use i need to use uh with i'll here i need to use will with the pronoun i because i have this verb that is called have okay yes Be because of that i need to use um this one this is structure here but when I have like, for example, like, if you notice this one right here, if you see, when I have like in the statements, right, I need to use would. Yes. Would you like? Would you like? Would you like? Would you like? I'd like. Okay. That's, 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 that's the key on this one, on this exercise, right? To identify... Oh, I have the verb have and I have the verb like. So which one do I need to use? Would or uh, will? Okay. Maria Vilma. Yes. Thank you. My pleasure. Yes. Ana Cristina. Yes. Uh, I hope that we can get a little bit of, of time tomorrow so we can practice a little bit more on this one and we can have more examples about it. One one more time. When we have would, we are going to use it when we have the verb like. Okay. And if I have the verb have, I need to use will. Okay. So I will have. Okay. I will have. I will have rice. Yeah. But if in the sentence or in the expression, I have the verb like, I need to use would. Yes, yes, I'd like a cup of green tea. Do you like green tea? 
Claudia? Um, not really. Okay, what's your favorite drink? Uh, my favorite drink, Jamaican juice. Oh, okay. Oh, how do you call that one? Uh, uh, Jamaica, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. It, that's healthy, by the way. That's yes. healthy. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much, people, for being here. I hope that again tomorrow we can have the chance to practice a little bit more. If you have a, a an inconvenience with an exercise that is on the platform from this week or from the weeks that we have in the future, okay, let me know. So write it in the chat and um let's see if, if we can help each other over there. Thank you so much. Good night. See okay. you tomorrow. Thank you. Take My care. Pleasure. Good night. Good night, Good night everybody. Bye.